lit intro in the world when you find yourself dancing and singing to your own intro. Welcome to Inspiration, Influence, and Income. I am your host, Danielle Winningham, and today we're going to talk about how to beat fear because fear has been beating the brakes of you and your life and your business for far too long. So I got my camo on today, baby. We about to go to war against fear. And you've got to do it. You've got to do it. You've got to do it. Or it's going gonna, it's gonna to keep you from living your best life. And that's what our goal is this year. This year is not about more money. Well, it is about more money. But it's about living your best life. And a lot of, uh, one of the things, I don't know why, uh, Tanya, but you know, I'm in the middle of the broadcast, so I can't solve it now. Uh, one of the things that you will have to admit that has held you back all of this time is fear. So one thing I'm going to ask you to do, uh, I think Facebook may be tripping. Also, Vs, let me know if I'm okay on Facebook. But one of the things I'm going to ask you to do is first, I'm going to ask you to uh give me just one second let me get it right i'm sorry y'all give me just a second hey dr jeffrey how are you they're saying facebook is having problems give me just a second guys if you haven't shared the video uh make sure you do might be my connection. I don't know. How's the connection on Facebook? I mean, on Periscope. Come on, baby. There we go. That's the good thing and the bad thing about those intros and outros. Uh, because they definitely do slow you down. But I'm going to go in under Facebook. And just make a regular post live. That's what I get for being all fly. Right? And there we go. I'm back. So sorry about that, guys. I hope everybody's having an amazing afternoon. Welcome to Inspiration, Influence, and Income. I am your host, Danya Winningham. And today, especially since it's the beginning of the year, we're going to be talking about how to beat fear. And fear is one of those things that if you allow it to, it will take over your entire life. So what we're going to do today is we're going to wage war on fear. And what we're going to do in order to wage war on fear is and, and have million dollar courage, we're going to act like fear were a person. Now, let's just think about that. If fear was a person, would you allow that person to do you the way you do fear? I want you to get mad because last night we talked about one of the ways to have million dollar courage is to get outraged. One of the ways for you to have million dollar courage is instead of just accepting your current situation, you've got to get mad. Look at your neighbor and say, get mad about your current situation. If you haven't shared the broadcast, don't forget we're going to be giving away a hundred ways to make money, a digital product. So make sure you share and hashtag shared in the comments, or if you're listening on my podcast, make sure you subscribe in order to be a winner and my team will reach out to you. So if you haven't shared the broadcast, share the broadcast. Now, wait a minute. We said the last four letters in courage is rage. And in order for you to get courage, you've got to get rage. You've got to be outraged. By your current situation. You've got to be outraged. About all that fear has stolen from you. Think about the books. That fear has stolen from you. Think about 
the ideas that fear has stolen from you. I'm trying to get my connection right. I want you to think, boy, this, this ain't nothing but the enemy right here, I tell you. Man, that ain't nothing but the enemy. The enemy don't want you to have this message today, y'all. I'm telling you, but I'm going to push through. I, I know it's choppy, baby. I, I, I saw that. But I'm going to go ahead and push through. And, and you might want to push through and get this word. Hello? If you think about the ideas that fear has stolen from you, the progress. Think about where you would be in your life if fear was not holding you hostage. And, and when you think about fear and all it stopped you from doing, you should be angry. You should be outraged. You should be mortified. You should be pissed off at fear. So today, in order for you to have million dollar courage, you've got to go the opposite way. A lot of you right now are apathetic. You don't have any feelings. And so you need to quit being apathetic and, and turn, turn that rage into action. You need to be mad about your current situation. Exactly, Dana. You need to turn fear into a person. Dana said, ooh, I hate her. If fear was a person, how would you feel? So fear is a person and procrastination and perfection are her cousins. And if you don't learn to hate those things that are holding you back, they're going to keep hating you. Don't be tapping the screen, Darius. Now, we're going to talk about that today. So, number one, turn your, turn your courage into outrage. Instead of being afraid, be mad. Number two, stop doing the stuff that you're not good at. Boy, I'm going to have to call a cable company, boy. I can't keep a signal today, boy. And I'm going to tell you why. The enemy don't want you to be free. Oh, please. Let me get this signal right. I'm telling you, the enemy does not want you to hear this message. Come on now. Come on now. There we go. So let me tell you something. I never have this much technical difficulty. Do you know why we have a technical difficulty? The enemy does not want you to hear that there is a solution for your fear. The enemy does not want you to hear that there is a way for you to beat your fear. The enemy don't want you to know you ain't got to stay in your house scared. So you need to share this broadcast and get the word out so that other people can know that they have options. So number one, you need to get outraged by your current situation. Number two, stop doing the things you're not good at. Tomorrow night, I'm hosting a training. I'm going to train my sales team. I've opened it up to the public. To teach you how to recruit, onboard, and train a sales team. All of y'all hate sales. You hate it. So stop it. Let me show you how to hire a team of people who are commission-based to help you with the thing that you hate. And I don't care what industry you're in. You should have a sales team. Number one, it makes you more productive. And number two, I'm going to go and push through, y'all. I'm going to go and push through, y'all. In spite of this connection now. I, I don't know what's going on. Hmm. Boy, boy, boy. Y'all see that? I'm literally having to stand on my roof 
with a clothes hanger to get a signal out today. Come on now. I am literally having to stand on my roof with a clothes hanger to get a signal out. Am I back yet, y'all? Somebody tell me I'm back. Somebody tell me I'm back. Look, y'all, I know you need this because you need to quit doing the things that you're not going to do anyway. And the enemy don't want you to know that there are other ways to do stuff. So if you're not in UCU, go to bit.ly slash super sales 18 to register for tomorrow's workshop. bit.ly slash super sales 18. bit.ly slash super sales 18. Stop doing the things you're not good at. If you say to yourself every day, I'm going to make some sales calls and you never do. Stop promising yourself that. Which brings me to number three. Invest in a better strategy. Stop doing the things that don't work and hire strategy that does. So if you saying every day, I'm going to do discovery calls and you never do them. That means you either don't like them. Wow, Dana, I'm telling you, you either don't like them or you're not good at them. So why not find a way to get those things that you don't like to do done? I, I, I'm telling you, this year, I'm pulling out all the stops. I'm going to have it all. I'm going to have life, business, money, success. We need to call Xfinity. My connection has timed out five times in this broadcast. We need to upgrade to that big box. We need to tell them that it's making it almost impossible for me to do my business. And they need to get somebody out there with that, that new Xfinity connection ASAP. Okay, this is the fifth time this broadcast has timed out. Is it cloudy outside? No. That's what I thought. Man, I say the enemy don't want this message to get out. Do y'all know... That is the fifth time that this broadcast has timed out. 